staying up all night Love and heartbreak was our life We got drunk and smoked your dead cigarettes Good morning everybody Good morning from Tokyo Today I'm on my way to the hospital So but first I need some color on my lips Which color is good? I am on my way to the hospital today. So it's not as serious as it may sound. In Japan, when you say you are going to the doctors, you actually say you are going to the hospital. So when I first arrived to Japan, I would occasionally get a cold or some type of sickness or sick like feeling. So anyways, side note, I just came to the park so I could like privately talk to you, but nope, somebody had to come to the park. So when I first came to Japan and when I would feel sick, um, they would tell me, oh, I need to go to the hospital. And I'm like, whoa, hey, hold on. You know, it's not that serious. I don't need to go to the hospital. Um, but that's kind of what they say here. So today I am going to the hospital because for the past week, oh my God, they're so noisy. Why did they have to come right now? I was trying so hard. Anyways, it's okay. Share the park. For the past week, I've been feeling a slightly uncomfortable pain, like right below my breastbone and above my belly button. It's not so much painful as it is uncomfortable. I would say on a scale from 1 to 10, it's about at a level 4. It feels like I'm constantly hungry. I've been eating healthy, exercising on the daily. I thought, it's so weird, why am I constantly feeling hungry? I would eat and literally 15 minutes later I'd be hungry again and I had like pretty decently sized meals and I thought oh there's a like a black hole inside of me what is happening so I would eat again like chicken breast broccoli like a whole big serving of chicken breast and broccoli and 15 minutes later hungry again and I wasn't hungry though but it was like the hunger like pain feelings like when your stomach is about to turn over just to growl it's very strange so it's been happening for the past week I was like okay finally I kind of looked it up on Google Sensei Dr. Google hey doctor what's going on why do I have hunger pains like this and it Google Sensei Dr. Google said that it's probably a peptic ulcer fantastic so now I am on my way to the hospital it's 8 30 in the morning I found an English speaking doctor, actually Yuji found it for me and he found this really great website that lists a lot of English speaking phys uh, physicians in the Tokyo area and then maybe they have it in other areas of Japan as well so I'm going to link that very helpful website down below so if you're looking for an English speaking doctor in Japan hopefully that website can help you but I'm on my way to the hospital now so let's go. Dreamt of a life in a big town, skyscrapers and neon lights. Okay, so I've made it to Shinjuku now and I'm walking to the hospital. Actually, I'm trying to find it, but I just wanted to drop in and say there's one thing I forgot to mention. So in order to diagnose a peptic ulcer, they have to do an endoscopy. That's how you say it, where they put the camera, the tube down your throat into your stomach, which I'm really hoping they don't have to do. Um, I don't think they will though, because I read something that said you're supposed to fast before they actually do it. So I ate yogurt this morning and yeah, so I don't think we'll have to do that. Hopefully not. Hopefully they'll just do an x-ray. Um, but yeah, it's about 9.15. My appointment's at 9.30. I gotta go. And yes, I'm hungry again. But if you only close up, won't let go again. We have time to grow. This wasn't a mistake and we can grow old. If you love me again, my friend, this time is still. Okay, so I'm finished with my doctor's appointment and I stumbled upon this tiny shrine in the middle of Shinjuku. Actually, I've never seen it before. It's called Naru... Hold on. Naruto Kotenjinsha. Tenji. Ten it's called Naruko Tenjinsha Shrine. And 
it's a small shrine in the middle of Shinjuku. So it has seven statues that are symbolic of seven gods and they are said to be lucky. So you can go to each statue and pray for some luck. Also they have a mini Mount Fuji here and apparently if you climb the top of this little mountain over here, you can receive the same amount of blessings as you would the real Mount Fuji if you climbed it. Um, we're not going to be climbing it today though because I'm a little bit hungry because I got the hunger pain. I do want to tell you guys about my doctor's visit but first let me find a nice cafe or restaurant to go sit down, have some lunch, and talk to you guys a bit. Let me go. in Milor department store which is right next to the Odaku department store it's at the top floor it's my first time here so I've been on this nutrition kick right and I wanted to continue eating healthy but ever since I've gotten this pain I kind of like fell off a little bit and I just when you feel sick or you're hurt you know you just gotta put the diet on the back burner for a little bit so anyways I'm here now and since I made a trip to the doctors and got my blood taken out I decided to have something that's not following the guidelines of my nutrition. I want—I don't want to say diet. I want to say nutrition guidelines, but it's a diet. Yeah. So I got a lunch set, and it came with this minestrone soup. It looks like minestrone soup, anyways. Wanna see? So it's not that fancy, but let's try it. Ooh. As you guys know, fall has begun, or if you didn't know, fall has begun. So, I like this soup. It tastes a little bit autumn-y. It's inside. Potato, some bacon. Mm. Been a while since I've had a potato. Okay, so I went to the doctor. Good news, he said it's not an ulcer, or he didn't think it was an ulcer. He said it's something to do with my intestines, or like maybe gas, he said. Although it doesn't feel like gas, but that's what he said. He did a little poke poke on my stomach, listened to it a bit, and said it's probably gas. I asked him, I did ask him if it could be an ulcer. And he said, no, <laughs> just like that. So I was like, okay. So he gave me some medicine. The cool thing about this clinic is I didn't have to go to the pharmacy to get medicine. They actually had it there. So I was just like a, a one-stop kind of place. I did get my blood taken, not for the pain issue that I'm having, um, more for, I want to get a food allergy test because yeah, I just want to know if I am like have any kind of intolerances to any type of food because I've been really good about my diet, you guys. Mm. I've been very good. I like carbs. I like bread. I like french fries. I like pasta. I like rice. I like carbs, right? And I, my belly is so stubborn. You know, of course it has to do with genetics as well. Thanks, mom and dad. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, it's so stubborn. So I just thought, why not do a food allergy test just to see if I have any intolerances to anything that could be like, uh, that could be crippling me from losing weight, really? So we did that. So I have to go back next week for that. So that should be interesting. I'm really excited. I want to know what I'm allergic to. But if I'm allergic to anything, truth be told, I don't know if I'm going to stop eating it. Like if they tell me, yeah, you probably shouldn't eat cheese, I'd be like, mm, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be eating eggs. Mm, yeah, that's not gonna happen either. Mm, yeah, probably should not eat meat. Mm, probably I shouldn't be eating meat, but probably not gonna happen either. So um, yeah, 
But we'll just see what he says. Maybe there is something that I do have an intolerance to that I can just kind of cut out a bit for my diet because I eat cheese every day, guys. I love cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna eat my food. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes and I'll see you in a bit. So this